The Sioux Area Hospital is home to a number of state-of-the-art diagnostic imaging machines that are helping to improve overall patient care at the hospital. Joe is the manager of diagnostic imaging. What are some of the technologies that are here at the hospital? Well, some of the new technologies that we've introduced here at the Sioux Area Hospital uh, is digital mammography, which we just introduced uh, in, uh, in March, a uh, state-of-the-art uh, mammography unit that uh, helps the, uh, the women of the community and the Oklahoma District. Um, in addition to our new uh, MRI scanner, which is uh, 1.5 Tesla, which is, uh, uh, again, a state-of-the-art unit that uh, allows uh, state-of-the-art imaging here in Sault Ste. Marie. In addition, we've uh, included in our armamentarium uh, nuclear medicine spec CT, which uh, allows us, again, a different type of imaging, but utilizing the, the most state-of-the-art technology. Um, in addition, we have new fluoroscopic units, we have digital x-ray units, we have new ultrasound units, um, all part of the package that our, uh, uh, our healthcare professionals utilize on a day-to-day -day basis. What is the significance in relation to patient care for having top-of-the-line equipment available at the hospital? The significance of the state-of-the-art equipment uh, helps us to give our patients here in the Algoma District uh, the best patient care possible, the best imaging possible that's, um, that's made available to the community through, uh, through our team of dedicated healthcare professionals. And that includes the medical radiation technologists, uh, the team of radiologists that we put together under the direction of Dr. Jenkin, who, uh, who assembled the three radiologists uh, that are uh, totally well versed in interventional radiology. Something that uh, is unique to our community and unique to the communities of the north. Diagnostic imaging isn't just responsible for imaging. What are some of the other responsibilities of the department? We provide interventional service, um, very unique to, uh, to a community like ours in that the three radiologists are well versed in uh, interventional radiology. Uh, and um, in doing so we provide procedures uh, on an outpatient basis and that's very important to mention. That we, uh, and the uh, patient's length of stay is reduced. Uh, as such, they're not spending as much time in the hospital, they're out of the hospital faster, and we're providing excellent care to them all. Interventional radiology is also available here at the hospital thanks to the advanced technology they're using at SAH. Dr. Jenkins is the Chief of Diagnostic Imaging. What exactly is IR for someone who's not familiar with the term? Well, IR stands for interventional radiology. And interventional radiology is um, not just using x-rays and fluoroscopy, but actually doing procedures on patients. Uh, a form of surgery. We uh, are part of the team, the medical surgical team, and we do interventional procedures such as angiography. We drain abscesses, we put in dialysis catheters and pick lines, uh, feeding catheters, umpteen things. We do stenting of arteries and uh, that sort of procedure. Quite extensive. So it's something that's uh, made possible because of the technology that is in the diagnostic imaging department here at the hospital. That's correct. This, this room is an interventional suite. It, it combines CT, it combines angiography, it combines ultrasound. It takes an interventionally trained radiologist to be in here with nursing staff and special technical staff to do the procedures that we do safely. We couldn't do it without this room. You mentioned a few of the procedures that use interventional radiology. What are some of the benefits of using IR? Well, for instance, vascular surgery couldn't be done without angiography, couldn't be done without stenting and angioplasty procedures, and we do cryoplasty too, which is a way of, of dilating a stenotic artery. That's just one example. Then the, surgical, the surgeons, we help them as well by draining abscesses, putting in drainage catheters, uh, biopsying kidneys, doing uh, nephrostomies, and dialysis catheters as well. And this room is state-of-the-art, as you mentioned. What is uh, particularly great about having access to this kind of technology here in Sault Ste. Marie? Well, I'm glad to say that this is one of the nicest suites in all of Ontario. And without it, we couldn't do the procedures that we do here. We'd have to ship our patients out of town. Over $13 million has been spent on the latest diagnostic imaging technology here at the hospital to ensure that the residents of Sault Ste. Marie are receiving the best possible care. Reporting for Shaw TV, I'm Jasmine Pozo.